Hello again, it's Double Talk 73, and we're in Alaska. And what we're going to try to do in this video is try to show you how to catch uni sockeye salmon. So, let me close this one. And what we're going to be using is the Salmonator 8 foot 10, because these, these fish fight pretty hard. Thunderspin 5500. 0.025 fluoro line, X-Series Jig Head 6 7th ounce, and an X-Series Nymph 4 inch. These two you get by fishing 30 days at different lakes in a game. Or watch my video on how to do the 30 day stay at the different lakes quickly. One thing that I didn't state in that video I need to add to the description is before you do that, whichever lake you go to, put all your gear into your home. All of it. Buy one little cheap, smallest rod that you can get. A level one rod, a Texas rod. And that's what you put in a slot. That's what you go to different lakes with. So you go to the 30 days. You're going to have a repair bill. If you just have that one cheap rod in, your repair bill is not going to be much. So that way, all you have to do is spend your extend from day to day. Okay, we're going to be fishing in uh, Taming Nikanik. That's where we're going to go. And we want to fish from 7 to 9 p.m. on a cloudy day. Okay? So, let's go fishing. Now, it's a long walk. Close this. No, I'm not going to close that. Unless people ask me questions. So, get in high gear. We go to the right. We're going to go all the way across that tree line. And then go as far to the left as we can. It's a pretty long ways. That's why I come in here long before my time. So I've got time to walk back here. And when we get back here, we'll warp to 7 p.m. and start fishing. You just follow this tree line. Went to Alaska once. That was one of my bucket list things when I retired. About two months after I retired, I went to Alaska. Man, it's a, it is a beautiful, beautiful place. We went to last week in July, the first two weeks in August, so... Everybody said, bugs will drive you crazy. Well, they didn't. As a matter of fact, the only mosquito I saw, now it was it was Alaska size. The only mosquito I saw was dead in the shower. That's it. Okay. Here's where we're going to be fishing in this log. You see my, I've got my uh, marker there right in here. And see, my marker says 7 to 9 p.m. cloudy. And a 11.561 pound trophy salmon. But they're also uniques here. So let's warp till 7 p.m. Okay. And let's see how lucky we get. That's a three speed retrieve. Stop and go along the bottom. It's not very deep, so it doesn't take it long to get down there. And I hope you like this video. I hope I show you something. That's, that's all I want to do. I want to help you catch bigger and more fish. Learn a little bit. Pass it on. That's the fisherman's way. And if you like my video... Push that subscribe button down below the video. Subscribe. And then attach a notification so that when I upload more videos, you'll get notified. What do we got here? That's a good start. That's a good start. There's a competition up here where you catch all forms of salmon. And the sockeye salmon pay more points than any of the other fish so it's 
this is a good thing to know so if other fish are not biting you can run over here and see what you can catch been trying to do a video on the St. Patrick's event fish <laughs> and I caught some of the bottom rods so I thought well I'll just try to make a video on float fishing so I can help people that way and when I test to see where to fish I catch them <laughs> and then, then I try to make a video and I've started four or five times and I haven't caught one yet while I was recording it's funny and it's hard to show people what you're doing and to just tell them and it doesn't happen <laughs> oh me make sure my yeah I know it's on I can hear the sound now every once in a while I forget to turn my headset on whole brain just another brain part But I'd like, I'd like, here we go, see what we got now. I'd like to catch you at uni so I can show you that I really do know kind of what I'm talking about. Another trophy. I tell you, you keep on catching trophies, you'll come close to winning that competition. Salmon Clash, I believe is what it's called. And it says catch in all forms of salmon. Then there's another one where you just catch Dolly Varden and Bull, and uh, they're pretty tough too. I got videos on both of those. So if you're going to come up here and, and fish, I suggest you watch my videos. I use a little variation of KP Shimano, Shimino's on the Bulls. Both work. Mine seems to be a little easier to control. He uses an 8-foot crawfish crank. I use a 3-foot. And I can control mine easier through the water. But I'd try both before you come up here in the competition. And see what, what fits you. See what you can control easiest. Because all we're trying to do. Like I said, it's help you catch more and bigger fish. And the fish that you want to catch. There are some people that like to catch a uni of every species in the game. That's a challenge. And there are some that are a lot tougher than others. Yellow perch is one. I fished for a long time before I caught my first yellow perch uni. Then after that, they come a lot easier. But catching that first one was tough. I'm still after that 90 pound plus blue catfish though. I haven't had a lot of luck at hitting that yet. But I will sooner or later. It took me a year and a half to get my, almost a year and a half to get my 70 pound clear musky and I was so happy so happy just like a fat tick on a dog old southern saying I apologize for the glare on my glasses it's the monitor there's not a whole lot I can do I tried moving lights around different intensity different wattages it just, it's, it's the way my glasses are and the way the... Here we go. What can I say? Bingo. And it happened at 7.22, so it didn't take very long. Pretty fish, though. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Let's see if there's any more over there. Just keep it moving along the bottom. Well, at least you know I'm not crazy. <laughs> I mean, as far as the fishing goes. You don't know me, really. I really am crazy. P. 
people know me know I'm crazy. But I've never met a stranger. You know what a stranger is? A stranger is just somebody you hadn't met yet. And I've been that way since I was a child. I like to talk to people. I like to meet people. I like to listen to them. People are smart. And they'll, they'll, they'll talk to you. They'll talk to you about themselves, about their family, what they like, what they don't like. And if you listen, that's great, especially old people. Old people have so much wisdom to pass on, and young people just don't want to listen. If you want to make an older person happy in your neighborhood, drop by someday, knock on the door, say hello. If they know you, that's great, but if they don't, introduce yourself and say, I just come by to visit and talk. Would you, would you mind talking with me? And I, I just about bet you they'd say gladly. And they'd either come out on the porch and talk to you or sit and talk or go in the house and sit on the couch or sit on a chair and talk. And they'd probably give you a glass of tea or lemonade. Just sit and talk and listen to them. Older people have so much experience that they like to pass on. And as their children are up and gone, they don't have anybody to talk to. And they would love to talk to you. There is an organization that takes small dogs and cats and goes to hospitals where people have been confined for a long time and visit with their pets just, just to visit with them. Let them know somebody cares. In the town that I live in, I know a lot of people. A lot of people know me. I mean a lot. I've been a baseball coach, a Cub Scout, Boy Scout leader, and, and advisor, and, and I know a lot of people. I spent 18 days in the hospital with open heart surgery. I had two people come and visit me the whole 18 days. A friend of mine uh, from a town almost 40 miles away and one of my associate pastors. And that's it besides my immediate family, my son and wife. <sighs> Hospital's a lonely place. We're going to give it one more cast, and then we're going to end this video. So please push the button down below. Let, let me know that you appreciate it. And uh, as I always say, good luck. Tight lines. Catch a bunch of fish. Catch some big fish. Have fun. Be safe. God bless you and your family. And take some time to watch some other videos. You might pick up just one little tip, just one little something that can help you somewhere down the road catch more and bigger fish. And you can help somebody else that's, that's not having quite as good a day. So try this. Try this. And if it works for them, that would just be wonderful to see you've helped them. What do we got here now? Another trophy. Okay. That's where I'm going to sign off. So, God bless y'all. God bless you and your family. And uh, if you're ever in a room and you see me, my name fishing, come and talk to me. Ask me some questions. I'll help you in any way that I can. That's, that's what I like to do. Uh, some places I know well, some I don't. But if you ask me a question I don't know the answer to, Maybe we can find it out or figure it out. But uh, for now, uh, it's goodbye for the end of this video. Y'all come back now you're here and watch some others. And please subscribe now while the button's down there. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you later.